Hey there. It's time for more Sherlock. I wish you could see both of my dogs right now, but Coda pretty much looks exactly the same way Ridley does. They both just look over my shit. They're just over it at this point. They're like, Mom, you're wearing us on a sweater today. You're spinning in a chair again. Enough is enough. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are diving on into Sherlock season four. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into the fourth and final season of Sherlock. I'm actually shocked at the reception that this show has had here on my channel, especially the first two seasons. I feel like the fan base was way bigger than I was aware of for this show. This show had definitely been requested a lot in my comments, especially over on Patreon and messages and stuff, but... I just didn't really expect it to blow up on my channel as much as it has. And it's definitely been a fun one to dive into. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman are incredible actors. The show has a very quirky and unique pacing, very fun and stylistic edits. You can tell all of the actors involved in the making of this show are just having a blast making it, having a lot of fun with it. And I do feel like that really bleeds out to the audience and we can feel that energy and that joy and it does in turn make me enjoy the show a lot more. Before diving on into this fourth and final season, we did watch The Abominable Bride, the movie that was in between seasons three and four, and I had fun with it. Um, I kind of just went into that movie trying to enjoy it for whatever it turned out to be with like no expectations. And after having time to sit with it, I do think that like there's a little confusion still. I know when I finished the movie, I felt a little bit confused about how what we just saw was going to tie into season four. A lot of people were kind of confirming in the comments that basically, yes, it was just to kind of compare Moriarty to this case that Sherlock was revisiting in his mind where fear lives on, whether or not, you know, Moriarty is dead, the fear of him will live on. So I do feel like in a way tying that case into the story of the Moriarty didn't necessarily really need to happen. I think the movie might have been more fun if we had just done a stylized one-off piece where Sherlock and Watson are set back in the 19th century and it's just this movie that exists in a vacuum and a bubble. I think it might have been more fun that way. Although I had fun with the whiplash with the back and forth between time periods. It did feel very trippy and it was something that I was not expecting. So I didn't really mind it at the time, but just in hindsight, I do think it might have played a little bit better had it just been like this condensed movie that existed in a vacuum and existed in its own time period. I also just think that would have been really fun for like the holiday season. I do know that there are people who haven't necessarily been fans of the last season, season three, as well as this season. Personally for me, I actually liked season three a lot. I also though am coming on into Sherlock with like no expectations of how things are supposed to be. For me, I, I had fun with season three. I liked the humor a lot. I liked the wittiness. I liked all of the jokes infused into the editing. I also just felt more attached to the characters by season three. So I felt like I was more invested in their stories and in good things happening for them than I was in seasons one or two. So I'm interested to see if I still feel that way about season four. You know, I went into season three knowing that people didn't really enjoy it and I enjoyed it a lot. So Maybe I will like this season, maybe I won't. I'm kind of just excited to go on into it again with an open mind and just try to have fun. I think there are maybe different camps of people who get different things from this show. For me, I just kind of enjoy the Britishisms. I enjoy the humor. I enjoy the acting from this talented cast. Um, I care a little bit less that the mysteries are super well-crafted and mysterious and hard to figure out. But for some people, like they might really care about that puzzle being really intricately webbed and really difficult to put those pieces together. For them, that might be why they keep watching. For me, I just, I'm not gonna lie, I watch for the vibes. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. I am watching this because I like John Watson. <laughs> And I just kind of enjoy British humor. I enjoy quick witty jokes and the vibes. <laughs> 
And I'm just, I'm willing to fully admit that. I know there are some people who are disappointed that like I even read comments or hear messages or notes from other people that they like certain seasons more than others because they think that it gives me like some idea in my head where I'm predisposed to either like or not like certain seasons. I feel like yes, to a certain extent, like everybody can be influenced a little bit, but I also do feel like I'm pretty impartial when it comes to that stuff. I feel like with Game of Thrones, I was harsher on seasons that people liked. Like I was more harsh. Like I basically anything after season four from Game of Thrones, I thought it started to go downhill. I thought season five was still really good, but literally I, I remember season four thinking that was the best. So I tend to have harsh opinions sometimes. Whereas with this show, season three, I really enjoyed it. I didn't have a problem with it, um, where I know some people don't like it as much. So yeah, I know there are people who get nervous when they hear that I've heard anything about a show ever, but like sometimes my opinion just matches up with the general consensus of other people, and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, guys, like literally, I liked, uh, what was that X-Men movie that I liked that people were shocked that I liked? I think it was Dark Phoenix. Was it Dark Phoenix or did I think Dark Phoenix was bad? I don't I don't remember there was some x-men movie that i liked or that at least made me cry and people were like what is what <laughs> this one is universally bad what are you talking about so sometimes my taste matches up with the general consensus of other people and sometimes it just doesn't um whether or not i know that it's a thing that people like or don't like it's it's not so much that i'm aware that something is going to be bad so therefore i look for it to be bad i really do try to go into these uh, shows and movies with an open mind. So with all that being said, I am very excited to dive on into this fourth and final season and to have some fun with y'all today and see what the vibes are like, because that's what I'm about. Maybe it also just has to do with like me not really being a puzzle girl. Like I don't really enjoy puzzles. I don't really enjoy shows that are super mysterious in general. So for me, like I'm genuinely here for the vibes and the characters and their development and their witty lines and humor and jokes, because for me, like the more intricate and detailed and difficult a mystery or puzzle is to figure out, you start to lose me. Like, I'm not that smart, okay? <laughs> like, you start to lose me quick. So I know that that might be some people's cup of tea. For me, I'm just ready to have a good time, y'all. So that was a really long and rambly intro, but I feel like because it's the fourth and final season, I just wanted to give all of my thoughts um, and the summation of this journey so far. Definitely excited to dive on into a new show with y'all after this as well. Um, I just have some shows on my list that I'm very excited to check out. And although I'll miss these characters, uh, it's time to wrap up their story. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Sherlock. Not like that. Just stop. <laughs> It's never twins. Oh, the twins theory. It's got to be twins sometimes. Wait, what if Mary has twins? What if she has twins? They got to have twins, right? Oh, God. Mary? 59 missed calls. We're in a lot of trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. You are in a lot of trouble. 59 missed calls. Holy 59 missed calls and she didn't get herself to the airport? I think you have to pull over. Mary, Mary. Hi. I would listen to her now. She gonna have birth in the car. Oh no, they just had one. Okay, no twins. Never mind. That that hypothesis is over. They did have a girl though. Father, we ask you to send your blessings on this water. And He's still tweeting and texting right now. My God, He's just gotta stop, bro. Rosamond Mary. Rosamond. Rosie for short. That's a cute name. In their duties as Christian parents. We are. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Question. That's honestly really funny, but like so obnoxious. That's really funny though. You fail to connect actions to their consequences. Now, for the last time, if you want to keep the rattle, do not throw the rattle. <laughs> he's scolding a newborn. <laughs> I like Rosie. God, he's so insufferable. He's got to be taken down a few pegs. Who's that? Making eyes at John Watson. Who is that? Excuse me, ma'am, he's married with a child. What's going on? Ew, what is she doing? Why was he looking at another woman? I don't like this. Shouldn't even look at other women. We've heard a great deal about you. If anyone can throw any light into this darkness, surely it will be you. Well, I believe that I... He's gonna 
make things worse first. What? Margaret Thatcher? Oh, why did that hit him so hard? Oh, it's a sort of shrine, I suppose, really. A shrine to her. Oh, they're just a fan. Hero of mine when I was getting started. Hero of yours. Ah, oh, interesting. Who? What? Who? Who is this? Are you serious? Sherlock. It's Margaret Thatcher, the first female prime minister of this country. Bro, this is like the solar system thing all over again. Prime minister? Hmm. Leader of the government. What? Right. Even I know who Maggie Thatcher is! What the f***, bro? That is the bust, isn't it? The one that was broken. No, it's, it's another one. Different owner. Oh, different owner. That's crazy. Oh, a third statue. What is their obsession with destroying Maggie Thatcher busts? We're collecting them at this point. It's enough now, love. Daddy has things to do, I'm afraid. He just turned off the automatic pool or something? That's crazy. These guys are rich, rich. Wow. Oh, you know what's crazy? This is like almost tying into the blue water that we saw on Sherlock's face and the aquarium aesthetic. Sherlock are, Jesus Christ. You gonna warn the guy that you're here? No, you're just stalking him? This guy is rich, yet his security is horrible. It'd be much simpler to take out your grievances at the polling station. It really makes no sense that Sherlock would be good at combat, you know? Like, you can't really be this smart and like good at fighting. You find yourself in a workshop, plaster bust of the Iron Lady drawings. Clever, very clever. Now you've met me. Why are we monologuing to this guy? Let me present Interpol's number one case. <laughs> the Black Pearl of the Borgias. The- <gasps> What the f That's the memory stick from Mary. What? What? What's going on, man? She betrayed me. Betrayed us all. Mary. This is about Mary. That's not what she's calling herself now. Oh no, that's why he's been destroying all the busts. Tell us she's a dead woman. Uh-oh. Who are you? I don't think he's gonna tell you who he is. I'm the man who's gonna kill your friend. Okay, kind of a weak line. Oh, that's how he got out. What, Dude, where is the man that lives in this house and his daughter? They didn't hear any of this? They'll send someone soon. They. Are they hostages? What's going on? Well, I've got something they would dearly love if anyone could get out of here. I've got ammo. Ammo? Agra, the group. Madam Ambassador. Oh, Mary, that's Mary. Oh, uh, is this back in time? We're showing her the group she used to work with, huh? The sh she used to do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that guy, yep. I love how he pulls his mask up. It kind of defeats the purpose of wearing it. I am glad it's more about Mary and because like, I do feel like her story is really interesting and we just haven't learned much about it, you know? Oh, this is a bust maker. So gotta connect somehow because this guy's making. There's the Maggie Thatcher bust. Oh, he hid that. Oh, he was looking for it. What the heck? What a choice though. Did he do that protect her? Protect Agra? I'm passed out again. It's not fun when they pass out. We'll come back later. He's acting like he passed out. He didn't really pass out. About the English woman. What would you do to a traitor? How was she a traitor to them? Besides just getting out of the game. There were four of us. Alex, Gabriel, me, and AJ. So her real name, what's her real name then? It starts with an R. There was a coup in Georgia. The British Embassy in Tbilisi was taken over. Lots of hostages. We got the call to go in, get them out. That was what we saw the clip of. I was the only one that made it out. Well, you weren't, clearly. Oh my God, that's AJ, that's him. Well, he's alive. Yeah, very much so. Mary, I'm sorry to tell you this, but he wants you dead. <laughs> sorry, no, no, because we, we were family. Families fall out. He, he want to kill you, honey. He said you betrayed him. Oh no, no, that's insane. Well, it's what he believes. I think somebody else betrayed him that is also coincidentally a British woman. I hoped I wouldn't have to do this. Would he? Huh? Did he just poison? She just poison him? What did she do? I'll just look after until I get back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Who has to look after him? Who's looking after him? 
He's having a flashback with Redbeard. Can we please learn more about this f***ing dog? What happened to this dog? This dog definitely died in some traumatic way and Sherlock blames himself for it. I need to move the target far, far away from you. And oh, you. she's trying to protect her family. That's why. Because she needs to be able to move alone. And Oh, I see. So she can move randomly. How'd she know that? Oh, she had hit something there before? Wow. Oh, she's going to steal a motorcycle now and look like a badass. She dyed her hair. Oh, my God. I love that this is focusing on her. This is great. Even after having a kid, she still got it. She can just whip out these skills. It's crazy. Is this the room? This is the room that he's been in. Holy f Mr. Baker. Well, that completes the set. <laughs> no, it does not. Well, who else am I missing? He still found her. I myself know of at least 58 techniques to refine this seemingly infinite array of randomly generated possibilities down to the smallest number of feasible variables. But they're really difficult, since that I just stuck a trace on the inside of the memory stick. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Oh my god. Okay, that makes a lot more sense that he just tracked her. Yeah, yeah that was my idea. Oh, what a great reveal. Who's with Rosie? We didn't bring her here, right? Alex, Gabriel, AJ, your R. Rosalind. Oh. Rosamund Mary. Wow. Mary, I may not be a very good man, but I think I'm a bit better than you give me credit for most of the time. Not all the time. No, he's great. I think she was just trying to protect her family. I think she was scared. All I ever wanted to do was keep you and Rosie safe, that's all. Yeah, that, I really thought that that's why she ran, was to protect them. Come home and everything will be all right, I promise you. You can't make a promise like that. Oh. That. Wow. I promise you, John almost dies. <laughs> to be fair, he's really good at almost dying. We were betrayed. And they said it was her. They you betrayed us. They said her name. Yeah, they said it was the English woman. No! No! Did oh, no. 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 Idiot cop! So many lies. I don't just mean you. I don't just mean you. Did he hit on that girl? No fucking way. Did he cheat on Mary? I'm gonna be so mad. John. I don't normally do this, but um. But you're gonna. Yeah. This is the part where you say, I'm, I have a wife. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Bye. Bye. This is the part where you say, I'm married, John. Like, thank you so much, um, but I'm married. And not the part where you put it in your phone with the photo of your wife right there. Disgusting. Disgusting. I thought I liked you. And he's not going to throw it away. I thought I liked you! Betrayal! You put that smirk away. Ew. So disgusted. So disappointed. I'm angry. Why did the writers do this? With your wedding ring on. God damn. You just took the most likable character to me and made him the least likable. God damn it. And there was a Tbilisi incident. Agra went in. Yes. And they were betrayed. Not by me. I don't even care about any of this. I've been betrayed by John. The hostages were killed. Agra too. My secret was safe. But apparently not. It's kind of funny how like with every single one of these episodes, we always get to have like a dramatic monologuing face off with the villain before they get arrested or get killed by the officials and the police. After what you did. Very no. Oh my God. Of course she pulls out a gun. Is the glass in the aquarium bulletproof? <laughs> How crazy would it be if it wasn't? Maybe I can still surprise you. She's gonna kill herself. Now, come on, no. be sensible. Oh, no, she could point the gun at him. Oh, No, I don't think so. Ah! <laughs> no, not Mary. Surprise. Mary, why? Oh my God, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. I literally thought to myself, I swear to God, if Mary jumps in front of him, I'm gonna lose it. And she did. What the f man? What the f You ruined my whole world. I'm pissed. I'm just mad right now. I'm just angry, man. This is so dumb. Everybody just got irrationally cocky with Vivian holding a gun and it, and the only per and literally Sherlock was still pissing her off and baiting her. And Mary even said, don't. I just feel like this whole episode just cheated me out of like everything. Like, I feel like I'm not gonna enjoy the rest of the season because like John is less likable to me now after what he's done to Mary. And then Mary I thought was fucking cool and she just had to die like that. Like Sherlock has just been arrogant and cocky this entire first episode and I really am not about it. I'm just really fucking annoyed right now, man. I'm actually mad. So this is in case 
in case the day comes. How did she make sure he got that DVD? How did she arrange for that to get sent to him if she died? I need you to do something for me. What? It's, uh, it's from John. Ah! Uh. He said he'd, that he'd rather have anyone but you. Anyone. Yep. I don't blame him. Because all he's going to see is his dead wife when he looks at Sherlock now. Like, even though John cheated, obviously I can still empathize with him. Like, losing the love of your life is hard. I'm just pissed that the writers had to do that to me. Like, save John Watson. Well, it's going to be really hard. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm in a pretty bad mood <laughs> after that episode. Wow. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's loud. Gunshot. Oh, he's reliving the memory, huh? I stopped lying down. Oh. Alone? Oh, it's a night. Is this a nightmare? No, because he doesn't sleep. So was he with the woman he cheated with or somebody else? Or Are you going to tell her about me? No. He's seeing Mary in his head, isn't it? She thinks you're dead. Oh. John, you've got to remember it's important. He's, yeah. I am dead. He's, oh, <laughs> that's really sad. I don't like this. No, oh, no. F I'm not here. You know that, don't you? This is too real. Oh my God, I don't like this. It's like a totally normal thing to do, but that's why it hurts to see it. I don't like it. Do you blame him? I don't blame him. I don't think about him. You do blame him. John is so closed off. He's got so many walls up with his therapists. He's such a military man. He's like, don't talk about feelings. Only in the way of which I'm comfortable with. It's difficult having such. Are, were we in a hospital as well as a corporate office building? What? Well, what is the worst thing you could do? Murder with friends, murder. Tell them your darkest secret. Oh, is it a truth potion or some bull Interferes with the memory. The memory? Yes. I, I, I want to thank you, Ivan, for allowing me to use. Is this like a flash forward of her being drugged up? You mean you didn't ask? Is everyone ready? I would not. I, uh, uh, I'd be like, no, no. What the f I'd be like, I'm out of here. We're not friends anymore. All I'm doing, Faith dear, is getting something off my chest. But you want us to forget about it. That why, why can't you just not tell me? Can I just leave the room and you not tell me? She's allowing it to happen, but what the f I'm afraid that some of the memories you've had up to this point might also be corrupted. Oh, she's trying to write it down before she forgets. But like, oh my God, everything you remembered up until this point could also get up? This guy's an asshole. I would be like, I'm out of here. No. I need to kill someone. Faith. Oh no. He saw her notes. Why did you have to even include her? What's the Three point? Years ago, my father told me he wanted to kill someone. Wait, he gave her the note back? And it changed my world forever. Oh, he's definitely depressed. Look at him. He's got a five o'clock shadow. He's got a tremor. Is he in withdrawals? Oh, f he's been, oh, he's been doping up hardcore to cope with the depression. You know what I expected, you. What is he? Is he okay? Is he with. What am I? Nicer. Withdrawing or something? What are the words he's seeing? What's happening? Oh, he's having a flashback of his dog. She's gone. Yeah, I genuinely think this is all in his head. Don't think anyone else is going to save him because there isn't anyone. Anyone, 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 anyone. Oh, Jesus, anyone is, is anyone the word? He wants to kill anyone. He's a serial killer. Oh, is that the answer? Okay. Oh boy. I just feel like all of this is imagined in his head though, and none of this is real, like. What if you had the compulsion to kill and money? What then? Um, a lot of people do, but is any of this real three weeks later? Can he just get off the drugs? My God. I understand that he's an addict, so that's gonna be difficult, but I'm just saying, because I, I'm starting to like not understand what's real and what's not and what's manufactured in his head and what's not, because it really lowers the stakes if I feel like things are just manufactured in his head. But maybe Faith is real and she just left him there? Would you just see him, please, John? 
Mrs. Hudson. Oh, just take a look at him as a doctor. I know you'd change your mind if you did. Change your mind? Yeah, look, okay, maybe, if I get a chance. Do you promise? Maybe. I promise. Thank you. Oh, God. You're so manipulative. <gasps> she dragged him here? Oh, my God. She dragged him. Who's this one? This is a new person. I'm against new people. Ex against new people? Jesus Christ, dude. She's my therapist. Awesome. Do you do block bookings? Ah! Now all of a sudden he's happy. He's doing such a good job of portraying a real unhinged drug addict. I need you to know, John, I need you to see that up here, I've still got it. So when I tell you that this... If I was John, I would be like, I don't give a f Figure it out on your own. I'd be like, it's not my problem. You lie all the time. It's like your mission. I have been many things, John, but when have I ever been a malingerer? You pretended to be dead for two years. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Apart from that. <laughs> what? Anything you need, anytime, just ask. Anything at all. Thank you. Thank you for bringing this man to my doorstep. Sometimes can I borrow your car? No. I knew she would say no to that. I knew she'd say no to that. Of course, you can't borrow the Aston Martin, baby. Like, good, good for you for asking, though. You know I'm a killer. But did you know I'm a sh Cut that. What was that? Was that a light? Oh, uh, was that me? Uh He's doing an advertisement making fun of the serial killer comments? That's crazy. He's filming a serial ad. A serial killer. I'm a serial killer. I'm eating cereal. He's playing into it. That's actually hilarious. It's a new kind of breakfast cereal. Mr. Holmes, could you put on the hat? Yeah, he doesn't really wear the hat. Look how John's right into defending the hat thing. Like, no, he doesn't do that. Just falling right back into it. Dad? What's happening? What was that text? You having one of your jokes? Oh, she looks different. Whoa. It's a different faith? What the heck? He hallucinated a different version of faith. Well, there must have been some build up. He didn't just suddenly do it. Look, I didn't know he had the bloody scalpel. Oh my God. Sherlock. What did Sherlock do? <laughs> I'm not laughing. He's not laughing, Sherlock. Stop laughing at me! Oh. Holy f this guy is a mess. Is that true? He's being treated in your hospital. It's not actually my hospital. Well, it is a little bit my hospital. He's being treated at his hospital? Uh-oh. I might even move him to my favorite. Oh, God. Ew. That's kind of awful. I don't like that. I still I still don't trust this guy. <laughs> is this a game? A bloody game. Oh, he's enjoying watching this. Yeah, this guy's a creep. Let him do what he wants. Oh. He's entitled. I killed his wife. Yes, you did. Well, he finally admitted it. Oh, uh, Dr. Watson. Hmm? Oh, God. Who's calling? Is it Mycroft? Hello, Mycroft. Ah! 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 I keep telling him if he was any good as a detective, I wouldn't need a new mantle. Is that the CD from Mary? Yeah. Yes, I'm... Oh, John. Oh, he looks like a sad little puppy dog. God damn. You know why I'm here. I'd like to hear you say it. I want you to kill me. Oh, uh, he actually wants him to kill him? My car. Wow, all right. He's allowed to take the Aston Martin now. Everyone assumes it was a fault or you just gave up the ghost. Yes. Did he do this because he he's so depressed and, and like so weighed down by the guilt of what he did with John and Mary that he wants to die? I'm scared of dying. He wanted this though. It's crazy looking at him get ready like a doctor to murder him. But you don't actually want to die. No. Good. Good, yeah, exactly. Because if you did, he wouldn't want to kill you. It's boring. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. He needs you to say you don't want to die. You can't save John because he won't let you. He won't allow himself to be saved. So you have to make him save you? The only way to save John is by... Is to make him save Yeah, make him save you. <laughs> My God. John's really the definition of, like, stubborn. <laughs> but if you were rich or famous and loved, it's amazing what people are prepared to ignore. Sure, but, like, can't you tell when somebody's suffocated? It still seems like a dumb and reckless tactic if you don't want to get caught. 
He wants, yeah, he wants to watch the lo- the life bleed out of your eyes. Of course he does. Yeah, maybe you don't don't maintain eye contact then. Don't give him what he wants. But it's a different room. Where did the cop go that was guarding the door? Did the nurse? The nurse is in on it, huh? The nurse is in on it. It's okay. But you fing loser, where have you been? Well, obviously, I got nice Cornish to switch the bags. She was in on it. Loves my blog. Oh, right. I got my confession, though, didn't I? Well, I don't recall making any confession. Whoa, 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 what would whoa. I be confessing to? Is there a recording in here? We found three potential recording devices in the pockets of your coat. All your possessions were searched. Oh, wow. Must be something comforting about the number three. People. Makes you think you found them all? Is there one in his ass? Like, I'm confused. Where is the last one? Where is the last one? The cane. He knew. No way. He knew? How did he even find the cane? I just don't understand the whole thing with Faith. Like, all the information he was given, yeah, from that hallucination. Like, I don't get it. Oh, the paper. Yeah, they didn't get that. Yeah. Oh, wait, the paper, I guess, right. The paper proves that somebody did visit him, that it wasn't a hallucination. So there is a reason. Well, maybe Sherlock told me. You've met Sherlock exactly once in this room. Is she? She's the one? She's the one that went and delivered the note and pretended to be Faith, huh? Does she wear a wig or something? We had chips. <laughs> what the f***? This lady? Man, are no relationships in John's life uncomplicated? Mutual friend put us in touch. Did Sherlock ever tell you about the note? She's locking the doors. She just locked the door. Why'd she lock the door? Are we not letting John leave? Oh, please don't go anywhere. I'm sure the therapist who actually lives here wouldn't want blood on the carpet. Oh, hang on. It's fine. She's in a sack in the iron cupboard. Who are you? What the f***? Are, what, what is your motive? No, I'm confused. Haven't you guessed? No. I'm Euros. Who's that? City name, isn't it? Greek means the east wind. My parents loved silly names. East wind! An east wind is coming! Ow! I banged the desk. Ow. Well, Sherlock. An east... Is she a sibling? They have a sister? He's making a funny face. I think I'll put a hole in it. Why? So many questions. Um, okay. So she literally went to her brother, acted like Faith, and she's related to them, and Sherlock didn't notice? How? You mean a plane? Oh, the oxygen mass is deployed. Would this be like a flashback in time with his sister? Is the oxygen gone in the plane? Is everybody passed out? Everyone's passed out. Why is the little girl fine? Oh, that's terrifying. Somebody's calling? Oh my God, that classic iPhone ringing sound. For some reason, it's more horrifying in this scenario. It feels like, I like who's calling Moriarty. Like, I just feel like it's so... I can't believe she's picking up. Help me. Hello. My name's Jim Morio. How did I know the way he was calling? Welcome to the final problem. How did I know? Just M Moriarty is just as theatrical as Sherlock. So that's why I figured it was him calling because his timing is impressive. <laughs> I'm back. Mycroft is totally the dude to watch movies on old school film. Oh my God. She's haunting him. How does she do this? What, she tapped the wires in the house too? Oh, he just has umbrellas that are secretly weapons hidden in places. He always knew this day would come. <laughs> oh, she's running around like it's a... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she's pretty funny. How is she doing all of this? Is this a dream? This has, this can't be real. You can't, you got out. Got out of where? A clown. This has to be a dream. This is weird. <laughs> what the heck? This has to be a nightmare. Oh. Sherlock, help me. No way. Conclusion, I have a sister. He didn't know he had a sister. 
New information, she's out. That's not possible. It's more than possible. She was John's therapist. Shot me she during a session. Yeah, but she she clearly missed. You're fine. Oh, a tranquilizer. That's why he never recognized. Sister, I can't remember. Oh, he can't remember? This, this is crazy. Did he have memory loss or did he just never meet her or what? What was the age gap? Seven years between myself and Sherlock, one year between Sherlock and Euros. Middle child. Seven years? It does explain a lot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no shade to all my middle children out there, okay? They found her with a knife once. She seemed to be cutting herself. Mother and father were terrified. They thought it was a suicide attempt. But when I asked Euros what she was doing, she said, I wanted to see how my muscles worked. Jesus. Whoa, that's crazy. And she said, Which one's pain? She's like a, she's a full-blown psychopath. Musgrave, the ancestral home. The ancestral home? They used to live here? What did his parents do? Why did he forget? He must have had something, something with Redbeard happened. Yeah. He was my dog. Euros took Redbeard and locked him up. Somewhere no one could find him. No. No. We begged and begged her to tell us where he was. She said, The song is the answer. There was, the song is the answer. And then the poor dog probably died. Sherlock was traumatized. Natural, I suppose. He was, in the early days, an emotional child. Anyone would be traumatized by that. That's awful. In time, he seemed to forget that Euros had ever even existed. That's actually crazy. That is crazy. Oh, she started drawing pictures of like locking Sherlock away or R.I.P. Sherlock burning pictures. Oh, my God. What is wrong with this girl? She burned the whole house down. She burned. Oh, that's why they didn't have the ancestral home anymore. She burned it all down. Sherinford, an island. That's where our sister has been since early childhood. So they could just keep her there because she burned a house down and be like, you know what? She's going to be worse. Totally. So we'll just lock her up forever in the worst prison in the UK. Like, how do you do something like that? That seems insane. It's a drum. Yeah, I can see that. What's it carrying? A grenade. Colloquially, it is known as the patient's grenade. The motion sensor is activated. Oh. If any of us move. Well, it looks like it just activated. You probably could have run out fast enough. John, I will take the windows, you take the stairs. Help get Mrs. Hudson out too. Me? You're closer. You're faster. Speed differential won't be as critical as the distance. Yeah, you're closer. Wow, this is so suspenseful. Can, oh, guys, no one should die here, right? Like, it would be really awful if Mycroft died here. I'm not, I don't think John or Sherlock are gonna die, but. So they're just gonna break through the window. It's crazy the way they're running. They're honestly just trusting that their bodies will break the window. Like, I honestly feel like if I did that, I would not break the window. Oh my God. That was the old, old school CGI. Did that look good? That's fine though. You haven't been down here before, have you? Silence of the Lambs, basically. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs, basically. Why the hell coins? She doesn't stop playing, sometimes for weeks. Beautiful. Oh. Kills you in the end. Aye. Kills you in the end. Oh, they both play the violin. Well, so they let her have a violin. Interesting. Wow, maintain three feet. I mean, what could she do if she's behind a wall of glass? Like, like in Silence of the Lambs, there's bars, there's gaps in the bars, but in this, it's just glass. So what could she do? It's the Redbeard song. Oh, sh she's always playing that one song. That is pretty creepy. Yoros, I don't remember you at all. Interesting. Mycroft told me you'd rewritten your memories. He didn't tell me you'd written me out completely. What do you mean, rewritten? You still don't know about Redbeard, do you? Oh, this is going to be such a good day. <sighs> what if Sherlock accidentally hurt or killed Redbeard and that's why he rewrote his memories because he just couldn't handle the guilt. Like, what if it was something like that? Because I wouldn't put it past Mycroft to lie about that to protect Sherlock. Everyone who went in there got affected. Enslaved, you said. Yes. One after the other. Yes. And Sherlock's down there right now. One question. That's your voice, isn't it? Do you trust her? You've got to stop saying these things. If Eurus has enslaved you, then who exactly is in charge of this prison? It's... I'm sorry. No. What the f***? She's in charge of the prison! The man who sees through everything is exactly the man who doesn't notice. Don't touch it. Oh, no. When there's nothing to see through. Oh, there's no glass there. That's actually freaky as f***. <laughs> What the f***? Stop me getting it! 
No, no. Stop me in a minute. Ah! Stop me in a minute. What the f Darth Vader, don't be alarmed. I'm here now. I'm here now. And you're Who is on the intercom? What the f is happening? Oh, Moriarty. What the f Jesus Christ, this is insane. He's always listening to Queen, which I do really approve of. Um, how is he alive? <laughs> Christmas day. Oh, oh, five. Oh, that's actually a really great way to do that because I was just like, what the? F <laughs> what did he do? Mycroft, you're causing you're causing so many problems, man. In return, however, she requires treats. Last year, it was a violin. This year? Five minutes unsupervised conversation with you. Oh my God. Is this when he was obsessed with Sherlock yet or not? Like, did she sick him on Sherlock? Cause that's insane. Oh no. Okay, he was already, okay, never mind. He was already interested in that. Whatever you're about to tell me, I already know it's gonna be awesome. I have missed Moriarty. I mean, he's awful, but like, he's so great. Andrew just does such a fantastic job. How have you done this? How is any of this possible? You put me in here, Mycroft. You brought me my treats. What treats? You guys are the treats right now. In the past, though. You go, girl. How can that be Moriarty? Oh, yeah, that's them figuring it out. That's how they've been seeing messages of Moriarty even after his death. Smart wife. Oh, my God, you're us. I'm going to shoot the governor's wife. Please, no. Well, you can stop me. <clears throat> There's a gun in the hatch. Take it. Is she going to say shoot the governor? Euros is awful. I choose either Dr. Watson or Michael to kill the governor. Wow, this is awful. You can't do it, Sherlock. If you do it, it won't count. I'll kill her anyway. It has to be your brother or your friend. Of course, of course. Of course she makes them do it. I will not kill. I will not have blood on my hands. Oh, that's very good. Thank you. To be fair, Mycroft, you've you've already caused so many problems by bringing your sister treats. Eurus will kill me. Please save my wife. I think I think John's gonna kill. I'm pretty sure John's gonna kill this guy, and then the and then the wife is still gonna get shot. What's your name? Aww. David. Are you sure about this, David? Of course, I'm bloody sure. And he does it like such a soldier. This is awful. I wish there was a way we could fake this. This is really awful. I bet there's nothing in the gun. I can't. Sorry. I can't do it. I know. It's all right. Stop. No, no, stop. It's all right. No, it doesn't. No, David. David, if you do it, it doesn't count. There was a bullet in the gun. Man, I, I thought a little too much of her. All right, there you go. You got what you wanted. No, she wanted John or Mycroft to do it. Because you don't want blood on your hands, two people are dead instead of one. Yep, yeah. She's gonna kill the wife. Oh. I like that method of doing it. Oh, she just shot it in the glass. Oh, no, she shot through glass, I see. You didn't have to kill her! The condition of her survival was that you or Mycroft had to kill her husband. I knew she was gonna do that. She reminds me a lot of like Javier Bardem's character in No Country for Old Men. Just acting like chaos, you know? Sherlock, we can't do this. Plane, remember? What if the plane thing is fake? Like, what if it's all, you guys would have no, they would have no idea whether or not it was real. Yeah, like what I was saying, I probably would be taking the tactic of like assuming that this was all staged and not real and not participating in Eurus's games. It's not empty, Sherlock. You've still got the gun, haven't you? There's more TVs. Only two can play the next game. Just two of you go on from here. Your choice. It's an elimination round. You choose one and kill the other. No way. No, you don't have to choose. You could just not choose. Euros, enough. Not yet, I think. It nearly. I would not be choosing, uh-uh. It's not going to land. That's fine. You know what? I'm sorry, little girl, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're not making me pick between my family and my best friend. I'm sorry, Dr. Watson. You are a fine man in many respects. Oh, Mycroft. Make good goodbyes and shoot him. Mycroft, sweetie, sweetie Mycroft. If he had to pick, he would take John, but I don't think he'll pick. <laughs> God, I should have expected this. Is this? Pathetic. You always were the slow one, the idiot. That's why I've always despised you. What? He's gonna shoot Mycroft, but I can't imagine that Mycroft's actually gonna die. Like, this feels like an act. Is he trying to make Sherlock shoot him? Ignore everything he 
just said he's been kind. He's trying to make it easy for me to kill him. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, it seems like an act. Well, I suppose there is a heart somewhere inside me. I don't imagine it's much of a target, but... Why are we doing this? Can we just not? Can we just not do this? This is my fault. I mean, it is your fault, but you don't deserve to die. There's gotta be a way out of this. This doesn't make sense. Well, not on my watch. Yeah, thank you. A moment ago, brave man asked to be remembered. I'm remembering the governor. Ten. No, no. Yeah, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like that. You don't know about Redbeard yet. Six. Shark. She doesn't like that. <laughs> What is she shooting at them? Little darts? Oh, tax. Is that to knock him out? Oh. Oh, to knock him out. She wasn't gonna let that slide. Y'all, how is this plane? How is this? This plane, it can't be real. I just feel like it's a manipulation tactic. How would it still be in the air? You said you told me and you went away. Honey, he's gone away multiple times. You just noticed? How, how, how long was I away? Hours. Hours and hours. How is her, the plane still flying? Are you there yet? Yeah, I'm here. John. He's in a well. I think, but listen, there's about two feet of water. Oh, he's chained. Oh no. They're gonna try to drown him. Ah. Bones, people have died down here. What kind of bones? A dog bowl, Redbeard's dog bowl. Wow, she's just awful. She had to knock him out so she could think of another torture tactic. Whoa. I'm home. What the f Find. I'm letting the water in now. In the well. Bye-bye. Shut up! Oh, God. Shut up! John. Yeah, it's flooding. The well is flooding. Try as hard as possible not to drown. Great! I'm going to find you. I am finding you. But hurry up, please, because I don't have luck. Can you bring some bolt cutters? It's leaning over the whole plane. Oh, my God. Where is Mycroft? Like, this is chaos, man. Sherlock, there's something you need to know. Emotional context. What is what do you what does he need to know? Shark. The bones I found. They're Redbeard. Oh. The dog's bones, that's Redbeard. My croft's been lying to you. They're not dog's bones. Remember that is allergy. What was he allergic to? Wait, what? Was Redbeard a sibling? Who was Redbeard? So you told yourself a better story. But we never had a dog. Oh. Victor Trevor. He was Redbeard. You were inseparable, but I wanted to play too. Oh. She killed them just because they didn't play pirates with her? <laughs> she killed them because of that? that? She's crazy, man. Yes, we know you, you pushed him down the well. And then for some reason, nobody looked there. How did nobody find him in the well? Unless he was just in the bottom, like, covered in water already. Oh, little baby Sherlock. Deep water, Sherlock, all your life. Oh, we did see a lot of water in the last episode. Yeah, we have seen a lot of themes with water. You killed my best friend. I never had a best friend. So? You were a child. You make friends later in life, if you're not a psychopath. Save my soul. Seek my room. My room. His room. Oh, God. oh my God, now he's gotta go back in the room. Jesus Christ, he's gotta run all over the place. Poor John. I feel like he's been at the same water level for so long. I think it's time you told me your real name. I'm not allowed to tell my name to strangers. T just tell him. Babe, you're about to die, just tell him. I'm your brother. You're playing the game. The game, yes, I get it now. I'm in the plane, I'm going to crash. And you're going to save me. I, wow, the plane thing was never real. Okay. It's kind of what I thought, but... Okay, but John's drowning in a well. Well, we're giving him a rope, but he's chained up. I guess he's not anymore. What? Another one. She had so many DVDs made. P.S. I know you two. And if I'm gone, I know what you could become. Because I know who you really are. A junkie who solves crimes to get high. And the doctor who never came home from the war. My Baker Street boys. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> I feel like the end there with like Mary coming in and doing this like PS second DVD, it clearly serves as this like fan service way to like close out the series in a way that feels semi satisfying, but it just kind of felt like unnecessary to me. Like it didn't, it felt like, I don't know, I didn't like that we took that tactic to end the show. I think there was a way we could have accomplished it that would have felt a little more authentic. I'm so confused still by this sister character. Um, I mean, the whole plane thing being uh, a staged thing with her on the phone doing this child voice personifying how she feels, that doesn't necessarily like surprise me. Like I didn't, I, for a long time, I didn't think that the, the plane thing could be real because it just didn't make sense how she would be in the air for so long and approaching a city for so long. Like I did, it did make sense to me that it was fake. I guess I'm just surprised that the sister was so receptive towards like emotion and empathy at the end because it seems like the whole time like she was talking about like what is what is pain feel like I don't understand or what is it didn't really feel good or bad it felt the same like the whole time it seems like she's she doesn't experience emotions the same way most people do so I, I was kind of surprised that she was so emotional and just needed that like validation and love and understanding from Sherlock it didn't really make sense to me I don't know it was confusing from like a character perspective I like that we did um dive more into Sherlock's backstory in this episode and we got to see the whole thing unfold with Redbeard and why it was so traumatic and why he didn't remember certain things and the pain points that fuel him because I do think that that was really important and that bomb dropping of it being another sibling that died and not a dog was also really relevant as to why she was locked up for so long because that was that's another thing to me I feel like in this episode it was just kind of surprising because I do feel like Sherlock was just acting a little bit dumber in this episode episode than I've seen him because he was just falling for every trap that his sister laid for him so fast. And maybe that's, you could just argue that that's because he's so much more emotionally invested in the people that she's using as pawns in the game. And so he's not necessarily wanting to risk that it's all an act. He's terrified for people like Molly Hooper. But I'm surprised that the voice on the plane got him because I even thought to myself, I don't know if this is real. Like this doesn't seem like it could be logistically real to me. And it's also interesting because like for so long, Sherlock has had this ethos of remaining emotionally detached because emotion is like messy and weak and just makes you worse at seeing the world clearly and solving these puzzles. So he went totally in the opposite direction with this episode, which I do think it makes sense to a certain extent because we're, you know, we're involving a lot more family and friends, but I just feel like it was a dramatic switch up from how I've seen him behave in the past. And I guess you could also argue that it has to do with losing Mary at the beginning of this season from being overconfident and cocky and not really worrying about the consequences of what could happen. Yeah, I guess that's the reason. It just, I don't know. I just feel like there were some choices being made in this episode that weren't necessarily the smartest. And then like from a character perspective, just Euros was interesting. But then I feel like the ending for her didn't really line up to how I expected she would behave just because, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. It just seemed like she seemed so emotionally detached. So then to all of a sudden have so much emotion and vulnerability and to like have that love and understanding from Sherlock be the cure. I guess it was just interesting to me that it worked, but I guess she did play by the rules and wanted to play fair, but I don't know. It, it, something about it just felt weird. And then I feel like the ending with Mary's narration just felt so out of place because we hadn't been building up to that happening. And so it, it just felt strange. I don't know. I liked the last episode more. I think there were things explored in the last episode that I liked a lot, especially with like Mary coming in for parts of it um, and personifying John's grief. I liked exploring that relationship between John and Sherlock getting healed, even though I personally wasn't really sure that it would happen or could happen or even should happen. But I, uh, I did like the way they explored it. And I thought the twists in the last episode were really fun. And even the sets and stuff in this episode were really fun as well. I, um, I really liked some of the stuff that they did do with Euros. But I, I, I don't know, I do feel like the fabric of the entire season, like the whole plot of the entire season woven together just didn't, it didn't feel as strong to me as past seasons. I think I also just got tricked too many times. Like there were so many times where I think <clears throat> I started to figure out a little bit of what was happening and a little bit of the twists that would happen or wouldn't happen. Like I could tell Mycroft was putting on an act so that Sherlock would kill him or I could tell that like, I think I mentioned it at one point that the plane thing probably wasn't real 
middle because that didn't make sense. So I think there just started to be too many instances of that to where I didn't understand where our stakes were anymore. I feel like when you can't trust the stakes of what's happening in a show or a movie, you start to kind of like lose some of your audience a little bit because like it, I don't know how invested I actually need to be. And there have been so many scenes where something tragic happens and then it was a dream or it was just an imagining, you know, when he was on drugs. And then there's been scenes where something that's really happening, but actually, oh no, this plane crash wasn't happening. It was a personification or, oh, this thing was happening, but it was actually all an act and it was an, a manipulation. And a lot of it just kind of didn't feel as satisfying to me and just I, I wanted to predict stuff like that happening so it just made me like step out of the stakes a little bit if that makes sense all in all like I really wanted to have a lot of fun with this season and I still think it was fun especially the last episode I think was interesting I did try to come on into this with an open mind but yeah I I just didn't like it as much as the other seasons I don't know I think there was a lot of emotional heaviness more dramatic moments in this season too which I will admit with these characters I'm not as fond of I'm more fond of the comedy and lightheartedness from this cast of characters. All in all, I'm glad I watched this show uh, because there's a lot of really awesome stuff to be gained from watching it. I mean, the editing was just so fun the entire time. A lot of the jokes and wittiness, the music is brilliantly crafted. The theme is iconic. A lot of these actors have done a fantastic job. I'm so happy to be more familiar with actors like Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, especially just because I hadn't seen a lot of their work um, and the stuff I'd seen them in, I, I liked them as actors. So I'm glad I've gotten to see more of them. And they just both did a fantastic fantastic job in this show. Martin Freeman especially, he really does a great job portraying a soldier. I feel like he really masters that like vulnerable interior with a soldier, tough British <laughs> reservedness type of exterior, if that makes sense. Like he does such a good job of like not showing a lot on his face sometimes, but like it's just in his body. You just know that he's hurt or he's feeling stressed or whatever, just based off of his body language. And sometimes that will come out on his face, but he's very subtle and I, I like him a lot. I think he does a great job. I am happy that y'all suggested this show. It was really fun to dive on into. Very unique and unlike anything I've watched here on my channel. So I really appreciated it. But that is all I have for y'all in this video. So if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts and comments down below of anything else you'd like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.